It's really looking like to me, Instagram Reels is the new TikTok. Toxicity from those cringe pages who just post people who are different and incite bullying in the comments to people straight up seeing a video of a child innocently working out, not only commenting on her bottom, but also talking about the disgusting things that they would like to do to a child openly. Popular fitness Instagram page, Squat University went on to post a video of a child doing squats whilst lifting weights. They're trying to prove a point that kids can lift weights. It's the exact same thing as doing soccer and whatnot. I'm really not too educated in children lifting weights, but that's kind of the least of my concerns here. With over a staggering 32,000 comments left under this video, with more than half of them being disgusting, predatory, and downright just up. This Instagram account has yet to take down this video and it's been up for over four weeks now. What's her at? Giat, not my proudest nut. Nah, she's ready for D. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. Not gonna lie, y'all posted this on Instagram Reels. You should have expected these comments. Smash. Oh, she will be using dem hands to grip something soon enough, all right? Giat. Uh-oh, boner alert. Yeah. After taking a look at these comments, we can all collectively agree that this Instagram page really should take this video down so that these comments can f***ing stop. But the people who are commenting this sh should honestly receive repercussions for it. In what society is it acceptable to be viewing a video of a child innocently exercising and commenting about how it wasn't your proudest nut? Or openly stating that you're going to R-word this child? Ow, the edginess. Ugh. This is exactly why I advocate for children to not be posted online, let alone in little to no clothing at all. Why? Because as we've just seen, people are sick freaks who could potentially go even further in their sick worlds than just commenting these types of things on a video of a child to be edgy. Is it finally time for people to actually face legal consequences for the S predatory sh they say on the internet, or will it be ignored once again? Good question, and I most certainly agree. The people who comment this kind of stuff should be facing consequences for their actions, especially when their behavior is rewarded online with, nah bro, I'm dead, followed by 20,000 likes on a comment about a child. You could make the argument that these people are just trying really, really hard to be edgy. For attention, for clout, for likes. You know, children are some of the least protected individuals in this society. And anybody saying this about a kid will forever be a walking red flag to me, especially. And so we always come to the question of what can we do about this? How do we combat this behavior on social media? Especially when attempts in the past have just failed Yet again, time and time again. This Twitter user brings up an amazing idea that I think social media should implement. There should be a label on all these weirdos' handles that says, warning, this user has demonstrated S predatory behavior and it links to their comments slash posts. Bring back public shaming. Uh wholeheartedly agree with this one, especially because who wants to be following somebody who thinks that assaulting a child, r-wording a child is funny, it's hilarious. We have not done one of these videos in a very long time time because I honestly thought in my delusional stupid brain that social media was actually starting to take a hard stance against these kinds of comments but I guess not because time and time and time again the same problem presents itself but just with a different child. Stop posting videos of children on the internet for crying out loud because these are the kinds of people who are watching this shit. 
Now, with all of that being said, everybody, thank you so much to the people who were sending me this topic in the submissions email, especially because over on Twitter, what I've noticed when these topics get really controversial and a lot of people start talking about them, there's always this strange weirdo side where it's like, well, they're just joking. You don't know what dark humor is. Well, you clearly don't either because, you know, I'm not the CEO of comedy, but who the f is laughing at somebody saying not my proudest nut under a video of a child take care of yourselves and most of all love your fucking selves